everyone, it's Robin. I'm here with Juicy, and we have to make this fast. We have a whole bunch going on, and um, the baby's here, and he's in and out of screaming. So um, I have the nails painted black with Wet n Wild uh, polish, and I have some uh, gold paint out and some black paint. And so I, I mixed a whole bunch of uh, clear coat with glitter right here and some white paint. And so um, I'm going in, and I'm going to match. Juicy, can you show the card, please? Uh, can you and can you also say what you're doing so that it makes sense so I can paint while you're talking? Okay, wait. But first, can you tell me if I'm absolutely? In? Okay, yeah, I'll put it. you in frame. So there is her uh, business card. So that's what we're gonna sh we're gonna uh, match for today's nails. So you go, Juicy, because I need to paint, and okay. then you can. Oh my God, you're gonna be like my helper today. Okay. Um, because next week I fly to Austin, Texas, and I go Yay. to South by Southwest, which is a huge convention. Convention. And I'm going to be there promoting and networking for my graphics. Yes. So, so I'm going to match my business card. My so, as she gra so, so as she puts her business card out, she's going to be like, bam, and have the nails match. It's going to look so cute. So we're matching the, the black marble. And um, so I'm going to try and tell you how I do the marble as good as possible. Are we Here in we frame go. with the nail? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, we are. Okay, so I have my, uh, my brush loaded halfway up and um, with the gold. Okay, so do you see how it's, so the nails like this, my brush is laying flat against the nail and I'm going to say that it is horizontal, okay? I'm going to say it's horizontal when it's like this and it's vertical when it's like this, okay? So um, I'm horizontal now and I push, I'm dotting onto the cuticle and then as I go up, I go more vertical and then vertical, 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 horizontal, push, push down and then snap right at the end take off any excess then that gives you a me meandering line so um, then I'm horizontal like this with my brush and then as I go up I push up vertical and look at my brush is almost completely vertical on there that gives you this sharp point when I'm horizontal I have more of a more control of long strokes so um, I'm going in, then I go like this, and then and then granite has little tiny little like pebbles of black throughout, and and um, like this, and then it just starts creating veins of marble. So, like that, and wherever you you touch, you can push back in, and um, if you do too much on one nail, then you can just take alcohol and rub on your, 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 your spray a little on the table. Get your finger in there and rub it off, and it will it will totally take off the paint without messing up the polish. Um, I don't ever know if I remember to say that. Um, you can get my brushes at RobinMosesNailArt.com. I do all of all of my 1400 tutorials with them, and I made them specifically to go with my tutorials so that we can act like a classroom, and I can teach you the best way that I can for inexpensive. So you hear Jay Sean, he is, um, <laughs> he is on his binky. So when you hear that, that's him. He's making music for us. And let me just say this, when he screams, it is like the screamiest scream you've ever heard. It goes right through your head. <laughs> so I'm just trying to teach what I can. And if he starts screaming, we're gonna stop because this is, gonna, this is a pretty easy tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. And if you have any problems, you can just look up Robin Moses Granite on YouTube. And I have really in-depth ones that go into all different colors and stuff. This is just a beautiful and um, elegant design that's fast. And also, and also like it makes a statement. Like, like um, I, I don't want to mess around. If I get too much on this, if I did this where every nail had a portrait on it and stuff, it would be too overwhelming. It wouldn't make a statement. People would grab her and say, oh, that's so cool. But, but most people would think it's a sticker. Most people would think that it's one of those uh, machines that prints them. And this gives them the that hand-painted nail art look that will make them say, okay, this girl is taking care of herself. There is a big difference between the two, especially in like the business where you are out there and you're in the art industry you know music art stuff like that people know the difference so everybody who's struggling out there to paint just keep going you can get it what my goal is is to get all the shops filled with the best nail artists ever so that everybody's nails looks good because if I don't hear if I hear one thing the most it's I can't find a good nail artist I can't find a good manicurist that will do my nails right. I can't find a nail artist that will paint. 
and can you please do this and I am only one person so I'm trying to get you guys to practice and then get a, a clientele so so um, don't give up you can do this so I'm pushing pulling in pushing pulling in now for the other two nails I'm gonna do a logo for her and I'm going to do a south by south uh, west uh, logo as well on the other hand and um, I, I don't know if I can show all of that on camera but um, if you guys see something in the logos that you want to learn leave it in the comments section so that um, I can do it for another video where we have more time and it's not so chaotic in the shop okay so hopefully you'll like this okay so secondary now that I've, I've done this and I've said what I want to say now I'm going in with the glitter um, this glitter is getting uh, mm -hmm. dried out because it is polish so somebody asked me Robin how do you thin a polish Okay, now there's two ways, and there, <laughs> there's the cheap way, <laughs> and then there's the real cheap way. Do you see how some polishes let separate? That right there is like gold for nail polish. That's I call it gold. That's why I don't shake polishes I don't like the color of. I can dump just the clear liquid into that polish and reconstitute it so it turns thin again. Isn't that great? So, I mean, I always, so if I have an old polish that separates a lot, every single thing makes a difference. So that can totally thin down your polishes. You want the same or this one? It doesn't matter. Okay. They're both the same. I have to go through. JJ. So, I got that. Now, um, I'm going to touch in some areas like this. Then on some areas, I'll fill the whole thing in with gold. And then I'll make little slashes of gold with my brush like that just here and there just a little bit boom boom it makes it pop 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 people always ask me too when they see my nails they're like oh my gosh is that all hand painted i'm like sure is yeah see how long does that take i'm like yeah it depends <laughs> how long does it take yeah okay that is a question for the ages how long does it take me in general or on juicy on juicy yeah, yeah. on juicy <laughs> okay that should be like an after statement that always comes how long does it take well, on a regular my person appointment. 15 minutes her appointment it can last all day long and I think on average it's like four hours. That's just yeah. like on an average basis. But that's because... But we have the baby. We have... Hey, we've gotten a lot better about arguing. Yeah. But also, but also, like, I, I, uh... What? It's not because it takes that long. No, it's, it's everything it, that like, we have going on. We talk. Right. It, it, it's, it's, if I wanted to do this in an hour, I could. And so, so like that's the thing Pretty. is that is that we argue for two hours, <laughs> we run after babies for another hour, and then it's an hour for to do the nails. So like there well, you go. And I have long nails, so my filing right. takes time. Yeah, and I don't use a drill, mm -hmm. so I mean that takes time, and um, I I only drill underneath. So so like everybody that says what kind of da 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 da, no, I do everything so old school. It's not even funny. So some people use drills for the whole. I mean I'm gonna sound like a. <laughs> I feel like a nerd. I, I can't imagine using a drill for the whole nail mm -hmm. work. That would weird me out. I don't know how to I'd act. First of all, I hurt myself and everybody in the room. Okay, there's that. Okay, so there you go. So I'm going to finish this up and I will meet you back. Boom. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't going to do it. Anyways, here is the end result. So let me zoom in. That's with the top coat. I used Dazzle Dry, but whatever coat works for you. Um, this is hand painted, except for the center. I put a little bit of a stamp of a because I didn't want to use mine. And uh, this is hand painted. If you want any ideas or um, or you have any questions about how I did it, please tell me, and we'll make a tutorial more in depth. But anyways, that is the finished result of the design. I hope you guys like it. Get brushes, RobinMosesNailArt.com. I have two: the wand and a unicorn. One is for striping, one is for liner, and um, I think that's everything. Go to my website, check it out, and if you try these, uh, hashtag me, inspired by Robin Moses on Instagram. Let me put it with the black on the bottom so you guys can see if anything else pops. Here, let me do red. That's with red. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. This was really fun to do. Very easy, kind of fast, and anyways, have fun. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.